The shock of Britain's decision to leave the European Union, sending global markets spiraling downward today, a trend that will continue when U.S. markets open today. Of course, that spiraling was on Friday with a 600-point sell-off. According to some analysts, though, the United States' real estate industry actually stands to benefit from the U.K. exit, citing increased demand for U.S. properties. Joining me right now is real estate broker Roger Healy, along with Ackman Ziff Real Estate Senior Director Jason Meister. Good to see you both. Thank you so much for joining us, gentlemen. Thanks for having me. Rogers, you say interest rates will remain the same. How does that impact uh, the real estate market? I, I think it's going to help us out. I think they're going to stay the same. They might even decrease a little bit. And with that, I think the people that have had their money invested in the open market are going to come back to, you know, to, to what they're more comfortable investing in, something that's tangible, something that they can have control of. And I, I think it's going to help protect our our market for at least the next few months. Jason, how, how do you uh, characterize the real estate market right now? And I recognize it's bifurcated de depending sure. on where you look, but what, what would you say is happening in, in terms of real estate? I think you've had a run up in prices, and I think that what caused that run up is uh, interest rates have been at historic levels, low levels. And I think you've had a lot of free money. And so there's a lot of markets like New York City, San Francisco, Miami that need to have a reset. And, and we're going to see a reset. I think it's a great time to sell. Uh, I think that the market's going to come down. You, you, it's a great time to sell, but then when you sell, you have to buy something, right? Or right. you can rent, I guess. Um, so it, it's a seller's market. It's a seller's market. Yeah. But what you were saying about Brexit and how it impacts the, the markets, I think there will be a rush into real estate assets in safe places like New York City. But I, I do think that you can't underestimate what Brexit has done to this uh, political scene. I think it's going to have a tremendous impact. I think it's a turning point in the general election for Donald Trump. Uh, I think that the, the, the Brexit movement is, is the Trump movement. Yeah, well, for sure. It's very similar in terms of uh, the underlining issues that are bothering people. Rogers, do you agree that the U.K. Brexit will actually have an impact on real estate, perhaps even in New York? Yeah, I think it's going to actually have an impact on all of, the, all of America, and especially our luxury market. I think a lot of people from overseas are going to start investing in the higher-end properties in New York, San Francisco, even places like Dallas and Houston, just because of the affordability and the fact that it's a little bit more controllable. But, yeah, I think it's going to have an impact immediately, and I think the, the long-withstanding impact is going to be with the stuff that, you know, is over maybe $1.8 to $2.2 million. I, I can understand seeing foreigners coming in and buying properties in the U.S., but, Jason, you just said that right. things have gotten, you know, overheated. overheated. So don't prices have to come in before we actually see the opportunity that you're talking about? I think that if you're on the buy side, I would actually sit on the sidelines for a little while. I think you're going to see a reset in the, in, the, in the short term, and I think that there will be a huge opportunity for people that have cash that are sitting on the sidelines. So, so prices will come down? Yes. How much? Always hard to say. I don't yeah. have a crystal ball, but um, I think you're, you're definitely going to see a significant uh, reset in markets like Manhattan, Miami, uh, San Francisco, where the prices have gone to very high sure. levels Those because of the interest rates. Roger Sealy, Jason Meister, good to see you both gentlemen. Thank you very much.